picture this. You're logging into your bank account, your Instagram, or maybe your Netflix, just another day online. But suddenly, your access is denied. You try to reset your password, but your email's not even recognized. Your backup phone number has been completely changed, so it's not working. Then your phone lights up. Bank alerts, account withdrawals. Turns out, you are part of the biggest password leak in internet history, and nobody told you about it. Y'all, I'm not making this up. This is breaking news. Over 16 million usernames and passwords, including logins for Apple, Facebook, Google, and more, floating around on the internet, on the dark web like confetti at a hacker convention. Now here's what's crazy. This wasn't some new breach. These 16 billion passwords didn't come from one hack. They came from years of breaches, leaks, phishing attacks, and data dumps all mashed together into one giant super dump hackers are calling or rock you 2024. It's like Costco of credential theft. Everything in bulk, everything discounted. Your info is probably in there. So the question that you should be asking is, how do I know if my Apple, Facebook, or Gmail account has been compromised and is one click away from being jacked? But don't worry, I have the answer for you. I'm gonna break it all down and show you how to lock your digital doors before the hackers come knocking. And you know exactly how I'm gonna do this, Sherlock Homie style. What's up, Cyber Heroes? I'm Boyd Clues, internationally recognized cybersecurity expert, also known as Sherlock Homie. I am here to break down scams and trends in the digital landscape to help you protect your money in your pocketbook so you can stay safe. Ultimately, what I'm saying is I'm here so you don't have to learn the hard way. Waking up to bank accounts being drained, social security numbers hacked, or your grandma getting finessed by a fake tech support scam. Yo, that really happens, trust me, way too many. So if you're trying to stay 10 steps ahead of cyber criminals, data leaks, and sketchy clickbait scams, hit the like button, subscribe, and ring that red bell so that you don't miss a drop every single week. Now let me show you how 16 billion stolen passwords are being used to turn your old logins into fresh digital robberies. Let me make this real for you. Imagine your high school Gmail account, the one you use for Facebook, maybe even some old bills you haven't touched it in years. But back in 2015, that same Gmail and password combo got scooped up in a random breach that you never heard about. Fast forward to now, hackers run a tool called credential stuffing and basically throwing billions of old logins at sites like Netflix, Amazon, and yes, even your online bank account. If you've reused that old password anywhere, boom, they're in. Now look, I probably see, look, I know I'm talking to you right now. You're thinking, man, where did I use that password? I'm going to tell you this. If you remember that password, I can already tell you, you use it way too much and you use it too many places. But we'll talk more about that later. One guy in the UK found out the hard way someone used his password from an old gaming forum to get into his email, then reset his PayPal and emptied his balance all before breakfast. And this is crazy, all because of a password he hadn't used in seven years. So here's how these 16 billion passwords go from a dusty data dump to full on identity theft. First, hackers collect credentials from dozens of past breaches, LinkedIn, Adobe, Dropbox, you name it. Most people never change their passwords. Number two, they run these old emails and passwords through automated bots. This is called credential stuffing. It's like trying the same key in a thousand locks until one opens. And because they're using technology, they don't get tired. Step three, if the test works, they don't stop at one site. They test your login and everything, your Apple ID, Instagram, DoorDash, PayPal. Because if you reuse that password, then they just hit the jackpot. Now this be real. Most people do. Number four, once they're inside, they may steal your money, change your recovery options, or sell your account access on the dark web to someone else. All from a single password you haven't thought about in years. Now here's the part that nobody wants to admit and nobody is talking about. This is not just a hacker a scammer problem. This is a tech company negligence problem. And here's why. Platforms like Apple, Facebook, and Google have had access to breach data for years, but they still let users log in with ancient, reused passwords that have been compromised. They could force password resets. They could block known breach combos. Some do, but most don't. And the question is like, why? 
because making it easy to log in is more profitable than making it secure. So while they're cashing in ad checks and flexing new features, you're still logging in with that password you created back in 2009 when you had that Nokia flip phone. But we're not gonna go there. And the hackers are banking on it, literally banking on it. So I can imagine, here's the question that you're thinking. How do you protect yourself from a 16 billion password time bomb? The first thing you should stop doing is stop reusing passwords ever, anywhere. Use a password manager like 1Pass or LastPass and generate something strong and unique for every single account. This is why I said, if you know your password, you use it too often and it's insecure. This is exactly what I tell my corporate clients. If you use a password manager, you only have to remember one password, one, and that is to the vault. The password manager will create strong passwords and manage those things for you. And if you use the right password manager, it will even alert you if that password has been caught in a data breach, which is beautiful. And number two, turn on two-factor authentication or called multi-factor authentication, especially for email, banking, and anything with your credit card on file. If they get your password but not your phone, they're stuck. Okay, so we talked about things that you can do to protect yourself. Now it's time for us to go and see if the damage is already being done. Because let's be real about it. Most of us are using insecure and old passwords or even forgot that we signed up for something and we never remembered we had an account out there. Why is this important? Because every time you put your username, your email or password out there, there is a potential attack vector for scammers and hackers to get your information. So my recommendation for you is to go over to haveibeenpawned.com Right on this website, you can actually enter your email address in and then do a search to see if your information has been caught in a data breach. Now, I'm not going to do this on the screen because I'm not about to air my dirty laundry out there, but I'm telling you, this is a powerful tool. So think about all of the current email addresses that you have right now and even ones that you've had in the past. You need to go and check and see if your information is on a hacker's database. If it is, change it immediately. By the way, let me know down in the comments if you are going to try this out and let me know what you found out. You don't have to say what type of data that you found on there, but just let me know. This is important, y'all. Make sure that your data has not been leaked because just because you trust a company does not mean that they are handling your data effectively. Trust me, I am a cybersecurity consultant to some of the world's most recognized companies. And I will tell you this, the bigger they are, the worse they are, I promise you. And finally, if this video helped you out, send it to one friend who still uses password one, two, three. You know who it is. Don't shame them in the comments. Okay, maybe you should shame them in the comments. Now these scammers are always up to something new. You should check out this video to see the seven scams that you should watch out for, especially in 2022.